Hey, what's going on? My name is Jeff Carpenter with V-Flat World. In this video, I'm going to show you four alternative ways to use our foldable V-Flats. The very first time I used one of these foldable V-Flats, I was shooting out in the middle of a field and my model needed to do a wardrobe change. Rather than finding a bathroom or walking all the way over to the woods, we decided to use the V-Flat as a portable changing room. Ever since then, I've been using these V-Flats as a changing room, even in a studio setting. Since these V-Flats are foldable and really lightweight, they make for a really great wind machine if you don't have a fan readily available. In fact, you actually have a lot of control when you're fanning a model manually like this. So next time you want that windblown look, just find your nearest friend, give him a V-Flat, and put him to work as your wind machine. One way that I use these foldable V-Flats all the time is as a bounce fill for headshots. All you have to do is open up the V-flat halfway, rest one side on your subject's lap, and let the other side rest on the floor. This is a really quick and easy alternative to adding another light or bringing in a boom arm with a reflector. One thing to keep in mind is that the angle and position of your key light will determine the amount of fill that you bring into your image. For example, in this image, I didn't want to bring in a ton of fill because I wanted to retain some of the contrast in the image, but as you can see by the side-by-side -side comparison, the image with the V-flat has less shadows underneath her nose and chin. I love the fact that these V-flats are foldable because that just means there are even more ways to use them. As you know, you can use a V-flat as a normal background, but I decided to take it one step further and use a couple V-flats to create a checkerboard background for a recent shoot. To construct the actual background, I had two half-open V-flats with the white tape facing in laying on the floor. After some strategic folding and tucking, I had my checkerboard. To stand up the background, I had a C-stand with a clamp attached to the top right corner, and then just to give it a little more stability, I had a sandbag around the bottom left corner. My key light for this shot was a beauty dish overhead, and then I had another V-flat as a bounce fill like we had previously in the video. To round out the image, I had a gridded strip box to camera right as a rim light to separate the dark portion of the background from the dark jacket my model was wearing. And here's the final image we created. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to find out more information about our foldable V-flats, come see us at vflatworld.com or follow us on Instagram and Facebook.